Hey, what's up, Carship and Rockstars? It's your girl Ashley from ReloGeek.com. And today I want to talk about whether or not you need new equipment to get started as a car hauler in this industry. Now, I get asked this question a lot and more frequently in the past couple of weeks. So I figured why not address it in a video so it can help you if you're thinking about starting and that's your first question that pops into your head. Now, there's different scenarios that require different reactions. One of the scenarios is if you're planning to lease onto a company and you have done your research and you found out that, you know, the company might require a truck that's usually five years or newer, um, then of course you need to have new equipment. The other scenario would be dealerships. Now, when I talk about dealership, I'm not talking about uh, like moms and pop dealerships. No, they usually don't care what your equipment looks like, how old it is, how it sounds when it runs, things like that. But I'm talking about, for instance, if you're moving cars for BMW, they might want your truck to be a certain year or newer, and they might have other restrictions on the type of equipment, how many cars you can carry, how you tie down the cars, things like that. Now, if you're just starting your business for yourself and you just want to be um, get your own authority and run for yourself and not be concerned with getting contracts or if you know for a fact that you never probably will want contracts even in the future, then don't concern yourself with how new or how old your tractor trailer is. Um, my suggestion is when you're looking for a tractor trailer for your or even a dually truck, um, if that's your hookup, for your business, there are a couple of things that you want to take into account. One of these things is your finances. You want to make sure that you do your research, figure out how much your truck and trailer is going to cost you per month, how much your insurance is going to cost you to run this thing, and you also want to figure out you know, what other expenses you're going to have. So this way, when you do the math, you can determine whether or not this tractor trailer combination will be able to, the payment will be able to be made based on how much or how big or small your load will be. What do I mean by this? Some people might prefer to haul um, a seven car trailer or a five car or a three car trailer. It, it really depends on, you know, where you plan to run, what your bills and expenses are, and you know, whether or not, is this your only source of income? Because you all, you have to remember that when you start driving a truck, if you're driving for yourself, now I'm not talking about the people out there that have enough money or are planning to buy a truck and put a driver in it. That's a whole nother ball game. What I'm talking about here is if you plan to drive the truck yourself, in this instance, you have to think, well, this is my source of income now. I, if I, if you have a mortgage or a rent or if you have rent to pay, these things have to be paid based off of what you make driving a truck. So with that being said, you can't forget about your fuel taxes and then your regular taxes. All these things are going to play into your business finances. And the whole the, the way to make money in this industry or in any industry is to control your profit margins, to control your debt to income ratio. You want to make sure that you keep your debt level low. That way, when your income is high, you have a great profit margin. But if you keep your debt level high and then your income is right there with it, then you're not going to ever gain traction. You're never going to make money. You're never going to be able to expand if that was your goals. Um, so always consider that. Some people choose a three-car trailer and they make a lot of money. They're able to maximize their profits. They keep their debt levels low, their debt ratio low, um, and they make a lot of money and then later can expand. Other people try a three-car trailer and they fail because they did not keep those ratios right. And, um, and then in turn, you find yourself underwater. And once you're underwater, it's hard to get back out. So to answer the question, do I need new equipment to get started in this industry? No, you can get older piece of equipment, but you want to make sure that whatever you get is reliable. The last thing you want is to have a car, a trailer full of cars, and you find yourself broken down on the side of the road. Now, do these things happen? Of course they happen. But you want to, not saying that newer equipment means you're not going to have problems because when I first bought my dually truck, the first week out on my way to Texas, my radiator blew. So it just goes to show you, this is a brand new truck that was bought straight from the dealership with only 800 miles on it and the radiator blew. So the point is that new equipment does not equate to less headaches, but 
at least you're the first owner. And generally speaking, new equipment is still under warranty. So you are in a better financial situation. You're still losing downtime, but at least financially, that aspect of breaking down is covered. And that's a whole nother situation that you need to consider when you're starting your business, making sure that you have enough money so in the event something does happen, you have the money to cover it. Because let's face it, tires blow, things happen, you might lose keys like I did, um, anything can happen. So you definitely wanna have backup money. But that's a, that's a topic for another video. Your equipment does not have to be new, but just make sure it's reliable enough and make sure that whatever equipment you do choose, you can make enough money off of it that your income is gonna be a lot higher than your debt. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. Thank you guys for watching. Now get out there and make moves happen. I'm Ashley from ReloGeek.com. I'll see you guys in the next video.